It is beginning. Are you ready? <laughs> Periodical cicadas are returning to parts of Georgia as we close out the month of April. I don't know, Jonathan. Do you, do you hear them already? Not yet, you, okay, but they're coming. Okay. <laughs> Meteorologist Melissa Nord has an update for us. In the last week, 11 Alive has received several photos from viewers of cicadas beginning to emerge. These photos are mainly from central Georgia from Columbus to Macon. That aligns with this map showing the counties where the Great Southern Brood, or Brood 19, emerged 13 years ago, in the spring of 2011. The co-author of that map, Dr. Nancy Hinkle, with the University of Georgia's Department of Entomology. We found they did quite well in the central part of Georgia. We found good populations in the northwest corner of Georgia, hmm. and some of them extended pretty far south. The large majority of a cicada's life cycle is spent underground, for 13 years, these cicadas have been nymphs feasting on the sap of tree roots. When the ground temperature gets warm enough, 13 years later, the cicadas emerge in large numbers. You're going to have what's estimated as, as millions, probably billions, possibly trillions of cicadas emerging in Georgia. When they first come out of the ground, they find a tree or another plant sticking out of the ground. As they molt, they leave behind their exoskeletons. And the adult then expands its wings, the wings dry, and then it's able to fly. And the males fly up into the trees and almost immediately start calling. That is the mating call of a male cicada. Why? Because their whole purpose in life is to call, attract a mate, mate, and then they die. The month of May may be buzzing, but by the start of June, they die. Then their offspring go into the ground, and the process begins again. So this is just like a fascinating topic. And although we're not expecting this particular group of periodical cicadas to pop up anywhere near the perimeter or the city of Atlanta, wait a couple months and our annual green cicadas will sing a similar song when they make their yearly journey above the ground. So I know they're a little bit gross when mm -hmm. people talk about eating them, but they're just fascinating. It is fascinating. The story and the lifespan and the purpose, it, it all, it Could is fascinating. Could you imagine though, that's your one life purpose. <laughs> 13 <laughs> years. Then die. 13 years underground. Then you come up, you have a fun fest for a mm -hmm. month and you're done. Yeah. yeah. Goodbye. Yeah. Well, I'm glad I'm not a cicada. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, we are starting to see, as I showed you on the map, where the counties, where the mm -hmm. cicadas are coming up. More coming in in just the last couple days. I want to show you one that just came in on Wednesday from Putnam County. This is from one of our 11 Alive Storm Trackers, Cherry Berry. So this is one of the adult cicadas that came up. It molted and there it is. It's looking for a mate. Uh, again, these are the counties, again, not in Atlanta. We don't have trees old enough for a lot of these cicadas to be around here in the city, uh, but we do see a lot of them down in central Georgia and a few up in northwest Georgia as well. So if you've seen cicadas so far popping up, they're emerging big time this week. 